When your wisdom teeth are erupting, usually there can be some level of discomfort or pain. But once they fully erupt into the mouth, the pain or discomfort immediately ceases. But if you continue to have pain or discomfort in your wisdom teeth region, over time, you most likely have an impacted tooth. The wisdom teeth, also known as the third molars, are the last set of teeth to erupt into the mouth, usually between the age of 17 to 25 years. Sometimes they may actually erupt properly and any discomfort you have before goes away. But in some cases, the wisdom teeth may not have enough room to erupt into the mouth, leading to what you call an impaction. So what do I mean by an impaction? A tooth is said to be impacted when there isn't enough space for that tooth to erupt into the mouth so it gets trapped within the jawbone or under the gum tissue. When it comes to an impaction, any tooth can be impacted but most commonly the third molars which are the wisdom teeth are usually the ones that get impacted. Your teeth can get impacted because one, there isn't enough space in the jaw where the size of the jaw is too small to fit all the teeth in the mouth. Two, genetics meaning that it is hereditary being passed down from your parents onto you. Three, overcrowding of teeth where the sizes of your teeth are too big when compared to the space available in the jaw. When it comes to an impacted wisdom tooth, not everyone will experience pain depending on the level of impaction. However, some common symptoms include pain. The impacted wisdom tooth can apply pressure on the tooth in front of it, which can lead to some level of discomfort or pain. Redness and inflammation of the gum over and around the impacted tooth. This occurs due to traumatic bite from the upper molar over the gum that covers the impacted tooth. So whenever you are chewing, because your tooth is impacted and you still have the gum tissue over it, your upper tooth will be biting on that gum and that can be a very painful experience. You can also experience jaw swelling as a result of an infection. This occurs especially when there's been repeated inflammation of the gum tissue. But also, if you have a gum pocket, food particles can actually get trapped within that gum pocket and eventually cause an infection which can lead to jaw swelling. You can also experience bad breath or a foul taste in the mouth. This can be as a result of food trapping within the pocket. The food that has gotten trapped within the pocket can become rancid and give rise to a bad breath. And also, if there is presence of an abscess, an abscess basically is pus. This can also give rise to bad breath and also a foul taste in the mouth. You can also experience difficulty chewing. Once the gum tissue there is inflamed, it will be difficult for you to chew your food because the moment you are trying to chew on the other side, the impacted side, the upper tooth will keep biting on the inflamed gum which will give you some discomfort. And finally, you can also experience some difficulty when opening your mouth what we also call tristmus. So how do you treat an impacted tooth? Remember I said earlier that not all impacted teeth will give you symptoms. Sometimes they may be impacted but they are not causing any issues to the surrounding structures, probably the tooth or the gum. So usually in such situations, you don't need to bother yourself with them. But if the impacted tooth is symptomatic, then you need to do something about it. The treatment of choice for a symptomatic impacted tooth is to have it extracted. But before that is done, dental x-rays will be taken so that we can know the level of impaction as that will guide the dentist on how to extract the tooth successfully. Once your wisdom tooth is extracted, it is important that you follow every full stop instruction given to you. Because the wisdom tooth is located at the very back of your jaw, you need to be extra careful with the things you eat and you also have to be mindful not to chew on the area you had the extraction done. If you follow every post-op instruction given to you, the chances of developing a dry socket will be minimal. But if you don't, there are chances that food particles can get lodged into the socket, which can affect the wound healing and possibly cause a dry socket. So if you have an impacted tooth, especially if it's been giving you a lot of issues like pain and discomfort, I will advise that you go have it sorted out. Because if you don't, there are chances that you can keep having the current pain and discomfort. And in worst case scenarios, you can come down with a jaw swelling, which is not a good experience. We've come to the end of this video. Like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification. That way, when I post the videos, you'll get notified. And I'll see you in the very next one.